Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate about how to create and run the Vitis project. For project demonstration, I have used Vitis Unified Software Development Platform 2020.1 and I have used Pinkjet One Board to implement this project. As for introduction, the Vitis Unified Software Platform is a new tool that combines all the aspects of Jailing software development into one unified environment. It enables the development of embedded software as well as accelerated application on heterogeneous Jailing platform including FPGAs, SOCs and ACAPs. For more details, we can visit Jailings.com. Here is the basic design flow. First, we create block design and then generate a build stream in the Bebado. And after that, we export hardware design. Then we open Vitis, where we create platform and then application project. In application project, we write our C program and then we build it and that we launch on a hardware. After that, we implement our project on the Pink Jet One board for the testing. Since this is mainly focused on creating and running the Bytes project, I will not go deep into the Bibata block design. All the project create steps are skipped. However, we must not forget to choose appropriate board. Here I'm going to create a simple block design for the demonstration where I'm going to take a push button input and then in turn I will turn on RGB LED. After completing block design and adding constraint, we can now head for generation of beta stream. We let Pivata from here to generate a beta stream. Finally, BitStream generation is successful. Now we can cancel this and then export the hardware. Here we select a fixed platform type because we are doing for embedded software development. And then click next. Here we select include BitStream, which will contain complete hardware implementation and a BitStream. And then we click next. Now we click finish to complete the export hardware platform. After this, we need to open Bytes. For this, we go to tools and then click launch Bytes ID. Before launching Bytes ID, we have to select a directory for our workspace. We can browse to select desired workspace directory. After that, we click Launch to start by this ID. Now in this ID, we have to first create platform project. For this, we can go to File and then New 
and then platform project. Here we have to give name for the platform project. And then we click to next. Here we have to select our exported hardware specification. Or in other words, we have to select .xsa file. For this, we have to click to browse and then locate .xsa file. And after that, we click finish. Now platform project is created. Our platform project is out of date. So we have to build this. Right click on the platform project and then click build project. After build is finished, we have to create application project. For this, we go to file, then new, and then application project. This is the guide about creating the project. We can skip this by clicking on next. Here we have to select our correct platform project. And then we click next. Now just like we do in SDK ID, here we give our application project name and then click next. This is the domain selection wizard. We do not do anything here because domain is already selected. Then we click next. Just like in SDK ID, here are also software application templates. We can select any of these. For starting coding, we can select empty application. However, as a beginner, it is recommended to select Hello World project because this project has everything as needed. Just we have to write our code here. Now click finish to create Hello World project. Now the Vitis application project has been created. Under source directory, we can see program files. We can add already written program files here. However, I'm going to write my own. After writing the program, we have to build it. For this, we select our application project and then right click and clicking to build project. This builds our project and also finds error on our code. After successful project build, it's time to run the project. We can add a terminal to see terminal messages. For this, we go to window and then show view. Here we select a terminal and open it. After this, the terminal is added to Vitis ID. Here we click to open terminal icon and we see terminal configuration window. Here we choose serial terminal and we select the communication port. But here is the thing is, the communication port is only visible when board is connected to computer. If you do not see any port here, then make sure you have connected the board to the computer and it is powered on. After that, we choose baud rate to 115 to 00. And we let other thing as is. Now click OK to start terminal. Here we see terminal is connected and working. Now to launch our project, we right click on our application project and go to run as and then launch hardware. Click S to terminate if there is any other configuration. 
Now our launching is started. Here Bytes loads the beta stream first and then launches the software application. The launching is successful, so we are seeing the messages from board to this terminal. Now we test project on our board and we'll see the messages in this terminal. Now in this way we create and run the Bytes project. Thank you for watching.